Hey guys, welcome back to Hollywood Mechanic. Today we are talking about none other than the Ferrari PTU. We're gonna make a couple of videos about some other things that can fail on that beside the shift bushings that always fail. I've had a couple that I've rebuilt, go out, and then clients see a warning, slightly different, and they just uh, think it's my, my, my parts. And it's, it's not. Um, what it is, is multiple things. You've got PTU, accumulator, pressure sensors, solenoids. But today, this video is about the high pressure uh, and the return lines that go from the hydraulic pump to the PTU. I'm just going to show you what the problem is here at the belly pan of these cars. Well, you see that, you know, people like to bottom them out, you know, happens a lot. And how can you avoid it? But right here, you see this like super torn up piece of belly pan. It, that is a little cutout. What's that for? Well, that is for your hydraulic lines. Yeah, that's, a, that's where the high pressure and the return line come from the PTU pump, which is up in here, uh, to the PTU valve body, which controls it, okay? And of course, genius idea. Let's run a vital hydraulic high pressure line underneath the frame, because Ferrari. Uh, and of course you can't buy the line if you if you get this damage you have to buy the whole pump assembly um, So what do we do we made one for you and of course like Ferrari They wanted to use a proprietary fitting on one end and a proprietary fitting on the other end so you can't just use a dash six to um, Make a new line, but we did we just gave you new fittings Which is especially important because a lot of people over torque these and these get kind of mangled up coming off um they get rounded off on those edges so they get very difficult to uh take off as you can see that one's kind of stuck on there we couldn't get it with a flat wrench to come loose this one over here is the same way let's look at this one right here uh super chewed up there you can see rounded off pretty badly right there let's get that focus to work there we go so a wrench won't even hold that if you can get one in there so how do we fix it? Well, of course, the new line, here it goes, looks like this slightly different. We give you new fittings in case someone messed it up. Ones that are thick enough that you can actually get a wrench on. Um, but Mike, I don't want it to like abrase, abrasion. I don't want it to, hmm, what's the word for that? Abrace, abrasive. I don't want it to be abrasive. I don't want to get abrasion cuts on it so how do i keep it like the factory had it well guess what you can just reuse the factory clamps we run it here behind the bumper uh just up here and like there is there something here blocking it no this is this is where that radiator is it's plenty of space here um we just go ahead and use the factory tie downs for the return line here um it just stays in their factory clips going up to the reservoir there and then the return or the pressure line goes uh, we move the clamps to here and then we use the same factory rubber dampening piece for this little part that goes over here you need to put a zip tie on either side to keep that from walking and then on the back side we use another clamp right here this is the factory clamp there but we just move it from down here to here yeah there's a rivnut there. there's already a rivnut there you don't have to put any new rivnuts and we just feed it right in here and boom Problem solved. Um, we have it on our website, hollywoodmechanic.com. You can buy it. it comes with the fittings. Um, if it ever were to, you know, fail again due to just age, it is a Teflon coated um, stainless steel braided high pressure line. I think it's rated to 2,000 psi, which of course PTU only operates at about 1,000, less than that, 850 psi. But um, overkill is always better. But if in the future it fails, you can just have anyone make it because it's a dash six fitting now. So you can go to your hydraulic line makers and they can crimp you a new line. You can make custom lengths. Ours is a little bit shorter, as you can see here. And you can see, like I said, these are the factory components. You just pop these off. Um, these are the factory zip ties. You know, this is how they hold them in place as a chemical resistant zip tie on either side. So we don't need to send you anything, but we do include the um, these little clamps with the line because these are always cracked up and degraded. Let me just go ahead and show you right here. We got like look at the look at them. It's already cracking there. See, yeah. chewed up. So we just give you a bunch of brand new ones because that's how we roll over here. We just 
stock all sizes of different various ones and there you go let me know